Hey everyone, it's Neon Polygons, and today I want to give you guys a quick review of the RetroTINK 2X Pro in conjunction with the M Classic. So for those of you who don't know, the RetroTINK 2X Pro is the next iteration of the RetroTINK, which more or less is a line doubler and essentially takes 240p input video sources and somewhat line doubles them and I would say kind of upscales to 480p, uh, if that is kind of the simplest explanation I can provide. And the M Classic essentially takes uh, 40p, 720p, and 1080p input um, sources and essentially upscales them to 1080p or 4K and more or less does some extra additional computation to somewhat smooth out the image. So uh, what I intend to do here is to show how much uh, additional benefit using the Retro 2X, uh, RetroTank 2X Pro uh, for retro classic systems, as opposed to just attaching um, your systems directly straight into your HD TV, which we all know is probably going to come out blurry and you know colors are going to be muddy and whatnot, I then want to show how much of an additional benefit attaching the M Classic um, upscaling capability into the Retro Tink 2X Pro. So essentially taking um, a 240p source that was then line double to 40p in the Retro 2X Pro, which is then going to be upscaled to 1080p via the M Classic. So to do this test, I'm going to use an N64 and specifically the game Cruising USA because it's a good mixture of polygons and 2D sprites. Now the N64 is a perfect example of which to test this um, I guess set up with because the N64 generally speaking is not the most friendly system in terms of upscaling for HD resolutions. In fact, it's probably the hardest system in my opinion aside from say something like a Nintendo Entertainment System or any systems from the RF generation to upscale to HD TV simply because, well, to put it mildly, there's no RGB input or uh, RGB source that's you know native on the N64 you have to kind of modify it and uh, it just play, it just has like kind of resolutions and textures that just really just don't play well on high definition so uh, so let's get this party started and I'm just gonna start off with the retro 2x pro taking AV composite from the N64 now why AV composite so I actually want to use the worst possible signal I can put into the Retro 2X or Retro Tank 2X Pro and show the benefits of what it does to my television screen or to the visual display on my television screen. So I'm going to turn on Cruising USA. Okay, on. Come on. Good. There we go. Okay, so as you'll see here right now, there's a few modes that you can play with with the Retro Tank 2X Pro. So right now it's in scan line mode. Now, in my opinion, I'm not uh, a big fan of scan lines, and to be blunt, I actually don't think it really looks that good. Um, it's a little bit, you know. Granted, I'm very close to my television screen right now, but. It just looks like a little bit like overkill is the best way I can describe if you're trying to kind of get that CRT look. Um, let's just kind of go to the next screen and you'll kind of get my, see how it kind of shows up. So you can kind of see the scan lines like in between. And you know, the screen just looks like pretty dark and it just looks like fragmented in a way. So I'm gonna put in normal mode and in normal mode, as you just saw, it just it improved the image drastically. It still looks great, but as you'll notice, it's pretty jagged. So I put in smooth mode, and it just looks, you know, I guess here, let's take a look at the lettering. So this is CRT mode scan lines. This is normal mode with the blocky letters. And then here's smooth mode, where it kind of just smooths out all the jaggies and the pixels, or the sharp pixels on the edges. So let's just kind of get to another screen here where that's the TV, or sorry, that's the, the car model that's rotating. CRT scan lines, 
normal. Ah. So I'll wait one more time. This is now in smooth mode. So I'll bring this back to scan line mode really fast. So there's the scan lines, normal mode, and you can see the jaggies and smooth mode where it's, you know, much improved. Now, here's my issue with um, the Retro Tink 2X Pro is that it basically puts your games in, or takes the video format, puts it into a widescreen format. So if there is a means to put in 4x3, I haven't figured it out on the Retro Tank 2X Pro, but as of right now, it, it puts it in widescreen, and in my opinion, you want to probably get a lot of these retro systems in the native format that it was originally built in. So in this case, for a game like Cruising USA, it was done in the 4x3 aspect ratio. All in all, I think it still looks great. Um, now, how does it compare to, say, for example, uh, playing this on your CRT? Well, it still looks a little bit dark. Um, it doesn't, you know, necessarily have the same level of vibrance that you would, you know, remember playing this game on a CRT. The colors are great. The, you know, the images are not blurry, or the picture is not blurry. And again, keep in mind that I'm using the worst possible video input, which is AV Composite. So imagine if I was using S-Video or Component, it would be a drastically much improved image. And so for just taking the worst image and upscaling it or line doubling it to 40p, I think it does an amazing job. So let's just kind of get a little bit of gameplay here. So right now I'm playing again in uh, smooth mode. So let's just switch around the modes here. CRT, blocky, smooth. So again, CRT, blocky, smooth. Now the blocky mode is not called blocky, it just means um, normal mode. So it just means like it doesn't do any filtering whatsoever. Uh, but as you can see in smooth mode, it looks great. And as I'm kind of just going around in the game, uh, 2D sprites are fairly well done. And I will say like a lot of the polygon textures that I'm seeing here, um, for the most part are, you know, sharp and, you know, not a muddy blurry mess. Okay, so that's enough of that. So let's actually try now um, putting the M Classic into the Retro 2X Pro and see what additional benefits it may have. Okay. So as you can see here, the image is slightly brighter actually when I'm using the M Classic. So, I actually have the M Classic uh, running in retro mode, and the reason I run it in retro mode is because it will now natively or play the game in its native 4x3 format. So this is pretty cool because essentially what's happening is N64, 240p, into the Retro Tank at, or Retro Tank 2X Pro at 480p line doubled, and then the M Classic is now taking that 480p signal and upscaling it to 1080p and doing additional computation to smooth it out. So what I don't want to do is actually, I guess, play around with all the um, filter modes on the Retro 2X Pro because it could start effing around with the M Classic. But off the get-go, just seeing it right now in the 4x3 aspect ratio and some additional benefits that the M Classic is doing, I actually feel it generally cleaned out the image significantly more. Um, other things that I just kind of noticed is that uh, lettering and wording is much more clear uh, or clearer. And uh, in terms of like the vibrance or luminosity of the image, it's slightly better. Now, again, it's not to like what you remember playing these retro games on a CRT, but playing this on my, you know, my HD television, it's actually not bad. I do think 
uh, if I was using S video or possibly a component um, component cables or like such as those made by Retrovision, uh, maybe the image would be significantly better. But for just like at its baseline worse, which is using AV composite, the Retro Tank 2X Pro is doing an amazing job. And then additionally, uh, when using the M Classic, it's just like souped up even more. So let's get some gameplay footage in here. Okay. As you can see, like, the image is really smooth. Um, there's no lag, obviously, that's kind of the main draw. And let's see if I start playing around with the modes using, uh, or the filter modes in the Retro 2X Pro, and if that Fs up the M Classic. So as you can tell, when you start using scan lines on the Retro, 2X, T, Retro Tank 2X Pro and then try to upscale it through the M Classic, it just comes out like a, you know, washed out, muddy mess. Here's normal mode, and odd thing is the the M Classic is still trying to kind of smooth it out, so you can kind of see it's a little bit um, smoother than originally when it was just a Retro 2X, the Retro Tank 2X Pro's normal mode, which still had it a little bit jaggy, uh, which basically it's a pass through, so it just keeps the jaggies. But the M Classic actually tries to smooth it out just slightly a little bit. And then when I use the smooth mode on the Retro Tank 2X Pro and then uh, upscale to the M Classic and smoothed out, perfectly smooth. So as I kind of go around, the image is, for the most part, uh, clean. Okay, so it's not, Again, like I say, like the luminosity and the vibrance is not going to be matching that of, say, like playing this game or playing a retro system on a CRT. But for the most part, the image is pretty good for upscaling a 240p source onto an HD television. So, um, my overall review of the Retro Tank 2X Pro is it's absolutely must have for those who are trying to play retro systems on modern displays. It's a cheaper alternative to say something like the OSSC or the um, Frame Meister. And in my opinion, it's much more versatile because, you know, again, I'm using AV composite here. So even at its worst, using a lot of these retro systems, um, say from like the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, all the way to, I guess, you know, previous generation of, um, well, I shouldn't say previous generation. I should say probably like the generations of GameCube, PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, and Xbox. I do think this is a fairly good line doubler to get your games to the 480p format. And even if you do get it to 40p format, let, let's say like um, GameCube at component, which already put, can play games at 40p, um, this does a fairly good job of smoothing out additionally the or cleaning up the image to smooth out the jaggies. Then to add the M Classic, I'm a big fan. Um, you know, again, like it's really kind of hard to see the, the big difference that the M Classic adds. But as you can see uh, in, this, in this example that I just provided where it cleaned up the image of Cruising USA, um, the M Classic can play huge dividends in kind of upscaling um, old retro classic systems when it's in provide when the signal is provided to the M Classic in the right way. And by that I mean you don't just want to just pass a straight 240p source into the M Classic. You want to get uh, the source from a retro system into a 480p format and let the retro uh, let the M Classic do its job to basically additionally smooth it out and upscale it to a modern resolution. So um, that's my quick review on using this format or this setup of the Retro uh, Tank 2X Pro, which I do think is a big improvement over the previous iteration. And I also think that adding the M Classic to this setup will play huge dividends for your retro game visual quality. Anyways, guys, this is Neon Polygons. Uh, thank you again for watching this video. And if you have any questions or comments about uh, my test methods that I just tried over here, leave them in the comment section below. 
And if you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe as uh, I love kind of doing a lot of retro tech reviews and hope to be providing the community with information that uh, is helpful to them. So signing off and catch you all again soon.